Hi guys, welcome to Food with Chetna. I have got Katie Biggs here today. Yay! Hello! Thank you for joining Thank us today. Thank you so much for having me. And you are going to show us a spicy yep. red pepper hummus. It's going to be delicious and yeah. super simple. Okay, so all we're doing is we're putting it straight onto the naked flame. And although this looks really worrying because you're like burning your food, yeah. Uh, it's actually, that's exactly what you want. You want it to catch, you want it to go lovely and charcoal -y. You want that pop. So once you've blackened your peppers, you're gonna pop them in a bowl with some cling film over the top, and then these only need about 10 minutes. Um, and they'll basically start sweating, and we'll be able to just peel that blackened skin away really easily. So whilst we've put them aside, yes. very blue Peter, I like it. We're gonna crack on and just fry off some onion and some chili. Now, chetna has got the hottest looking chilli I've ever seen. That's what chilli's supposed to be, hot. But we're just going to pop these into a pan and just sweat them off on a medium heat. We don't want to kind of colour them or anything no. like that. We just want them to soften and release their natural sweetnesses again. So now those are ready to go. It's time to de-scrape the, uh, the peppers. Oh, exciting. <gasps> and basically we're going to take, we'll take one each. Yep. And we're just going to use a teaspoon uh, to scrape off the blackened skin and it should come off really, really easily. And what you're left with is uh, the nice softened red pepper underneath. So all we're doing now is just, as you would a normal pepper, just taking off the top and taking out the seeds and then just very roughly chunking them up and putting them aside. Katie, tell us about your YouTube channel. So, so my channel is called Katie Picks, K-A-T-I-E-P-I-X. Um, and it's basically, it's, it's simple food on a budget, super quick, like no complicated methods, but all the flavour you can ask for as well. So the peppers are all chopped up. What are you doing next? We're going to whack everything into a blender. If you don't have a lovely posh blender, don't worry, you can get one of those hand whisks. So we're going to chuck in our peppers into here, chuck in our onions and chilli, and then of course, what's a hummus without chickpeas? We're going to drain them, but into another container because we're actually going to use some of the liquid. Okay, and we've got two, two tins, tins, but we want to capture some of the liquid, just that will help loosen up your hummus as well as the oil that we're going to put in later as well. So this is going to make quite a lot of hummus. So it is a kind of party portion. So it should last about kind of four or five, five days, days in the fridge. In the fridge. We're then going to also plop in two garlic cloves. Again, if you just want to de-skin them. Uh, and then we're going to add in two tablespoons of yogurt. Now this is optional, so two tablespoons of yogurt, natural, and then we're also going to add in one lemon. Again, just getting some of that lovely citrus. So this is now going to go onto our blender. So the liquid that you've captured from your chickpeas, we're just going to add in only about four tablespoons. It's a scientific oh, way of doing it. And a half. Nice. Just for luck. And then, as I say, this will just help it all. Lovely. And then the way of making your hummus all lovely and smooth and so that it's like a mouth yes. and glossy, yeah. Glossy. You want to add oil. So we've got extra virgin olive oil because it's just nicer in flavour. Yes. We're going to aim for six tablespoons, hmm. but we can always go more, we can always go less. We'll, we'll play it by yeah. ear. Okay. Oh, pulse mode. Yes, also uh, a bit of salt. So that should be what, a teaspoon and, yeah. and a bit. You can yeah, taste quite it a lot. Bit exactly. So there it is, as simple as, and as I say, we've kind of added our own seasoning to it, done it to our taste, so a bit more salt, a bit more pepper, whatever you fancy. We're also going to garnish it now to enhance the heat a little bit. So what have you got here? It's just some uh, chilli powder, Kashmiri chilli powder, which Ooh. has got more colour. Lovely. Let me try that now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And we've got some lovely, soft, delicious flatbreads. So good. And if you want to know how to make these, you can find them on Katie Pick's channel. Yeah. And I'm going to dig in. Oh, yeah, can Go I turn? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really nice. You can get the pepper. Mm. Lemon. The lemon does come through, doesn't it? And garlic. Mm. It's only two that's really yours, lovely. But that is Beautiful. I like it because you've still got some flecks of the pepper and the chickpeas in there too. Mm. And the heat, 
I was scared, but actually, that's perfect. That's bang on. Yeah. It's lovely, it's just really warming. Oh, oh yeah. Thank Nicely you done. so much. Thank you so much Thank for you having so much me. For coming. It's so nice. Subscribe, guys. Do and it. See you next time. Yeah. Bye.